if you lose a child, a pregnant female, a loved one of any age, how do you get up the next day and function? I can't conceive of anything worse than a loss of a child. It's worse than losing an arm or a leg. There are people who have lost children that were preventable in the past. We thought we got rid of it when we started to have vaccines against these dreaded infections. I hope I am wrong. I don't think so. I was not going to give this vaccine initially because as all new vaccines, I have great concern. As I saw the information come out about the disease, I saw the information about the vaccines, I said, I haven't got any choice. I'm going to give the vaccine. Let's look at the vaccines that are available. There's a live one. Oh, I'm afraid of a live vaccine. Oh, it's going to kill my kid. So far, that may not be true. Second of all, it might be more effective. There are some people we cannot give the live vaccine to because the company has been very careful not to put certain people at risk. As we get more and more usage, we'll probably change some of those risk factors and some of it seems to be happening already because it's a better vaccine. I buy most of my flu vaccine from Santa Fe or Canat Labs in Paris. We know what we think of the French, but the vaccines are very well made. I have virtually have had no trouble with them over the years. But I'm going to tell you something. If you have the potential of having 100,000 people die from this flu, which will relate to the fact that 21 and under are half the hospitalizations and probably, in the end, the potential of half the deaths. If you want to tell a mother or a father that their four-year-old, their wife who's pregnant, could have had a way of living and you deny them it because of a fear of a vaccine, I do not know the right answer. I do not want to be right. I do not want anybody to say to me, why didn't I vaccinate and I went to awake? I'd rather the other way. I'd rather be wrong. I'd rather the drug companies made a lot of money. Oh, let's talk about the financial interest of doctors. I have been told that we're allowed to make money on this vaccine. So we are. I'm not going to lie. We are billing for the cost of the vaccine one penny. So far, every insurance company has rejected our claim, but it's okay, because I get it for free. I might get lucky and get a small administration fee or a brief something with it, but right now, that's not my concerns. I am giving the vaccine. If I can get my hand on 3,000 doses, I will give it out to 3,000 people. I will open my office 15-hour days if I have to. I will go and work for the Department of Health if they ask me, and I'll go to a school and give it properly. I want the only thing thrown in my face six months now. Why did we vaccinate? No children died. I do not want to be right. Unfortunately, it looks like it is a real epidemic. If you think I am wrong, you think you have concern of the vaccine, I want you to remember something. The vaccines that we have today are very unique. They're very safe. They're very effective. You can have all the intellectual discussion if it causes anything wrong. If it causes autism, if you think that, an autistic kid that's alive is better than a non-autistic kid that's dead. So you better think that out very, very carefully. I don't think it does do it. I know the story behind it. It's on my website. And if you want to disagree with me, have an intellectual discussion, you can do it at any time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 